Hi, my name is Dana Harris Seeger. Welcome to my studio at Visual Philosophy. Um, today, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, displaying your work, framing it, how it's ultimately going to end up once you're finished with it. Uh, when I start a piece, I generally don't think about the, um, you know, who's going to end up with it or how they're going to display it. But it is important to think about certain things, for instance, size as it relates to framing and um, ready-made um, display materials. So for instance, this encaustic painting is an eight by 10, um, placed on an eight by 10 board. This is a ready-made store-bought board. And the reason that I like this size is because a lot of ready-made frames come in this size. So for instance, if you were going to go to the, the art store and purchase a frame to put this in, uh, eight by 10 is a standard size. So ready-made standard, that means you can go to the store or you can order it online and they come in those specific sizes. So it's, it's good to sort of think about that. And generally you can purchase um, paper and uh, substrates like this board, this cradled board in those standard sizes. So it takes some of the guesswork out. But if you are like me and you work in printmaking, then some of the papers don't come standard. Um, a, generally a full sheet of a printmaking paper like Reeves BFK or Arches cover comes 22 by 30. And that's not a standard frame size. So if I'm cutting this down, for instance, this is a quarter sheet, so it's 11 by 15 inches. And if you go to the store or you look up a frame size, then they generally come in either 11 by 14 or 18 by 24 or 16 by 20. So then what do you do? Do you cut your paper down and waste your paper in order to fit the frame size? You could do that. Um, you could also map them or mount them on a ready-made size. So for instance, if I'm using um, a quarter sheet or a half sheet or even a, an eighth size of a, of a standard printmaking paper, then I will get a standard mat. And this one happens to be 11 by 14. And I'll mount it just using some simple mounting um, acid-free um, mounting stickers. Zots makes a really good one. Zots dots. You can buy them dimensionally so that the paper sticks up a little bit, or you can buy them flat so that it flush um, lays flush against the mat. Um, you can also buy a ready-made mat with a window cutout. I like to mount them though because that way I can put them in a plastic sleeve and sell them unframed. But this helps people to kind of think about in the ease of mounting and framing their work and they don't have to go and buy a special made frame um, in order to, to buy your work. So it takes the guesswork out of that a little bit. Um, you can buy these mats in different sizes, different colors, and they can be standard. I would just make sure that you get something acid free or archival, meaning that if you mount your nice piece of paper onto the, the uh, board, it's not going to turn your paper yellow or start to, to age it and um, make it disintegrate early. So I hope that helps a little bit about thinking on how to present your work and frame it and sell it so that it makes it a little bit easier for your consumers to take that guesswork out of displaying your artwork.